in my mind's eye, I'm conflicted with decisions of being materialistic and supporting a system that imprisons our brothers and sisters convicted of crimes they haven't committed. Or if they did, you stick them inside a cell block. None of them can tell clocks when they're gonna see the light of day. Time won't say if it's today or tomorrow. We're all running on time that's borrowed, but theirs is full of sorrow. How come the outcome's similar to when the pinnacle of success was built by the oppressed, which is more than to suggest this subject of racial content is like a bomb threat kept from schools, but prevalent in laws such as stop and frisk, where the minority's at risk cause their color of skin. Leaving the conversation up to parents who feel embarrassed won't get it or don't care if some black or brown kid gets murdered for being profiled. The streets get riled up and hysteric while killer cops receive merit. Unfortunately, you turn on the news, which will disproportionately accuse minorities of drug use, enabling cops to abuse their authority. But we have to protect those who serve and protect. And you wonder why these kids carry a tech. Cause everyone is hunting them. Discriminated when they're congregating takes me back to the black codes. Marginalized for all of their lives, imposed in order to restore borders of racial lines, drawn at a time where the punishment didn't fit the crime. Say it's necessary to keep blacks from libraries. Separate but equal legislation would see to the demise of the mind so they wouldn't rise and attack. But you can't kill the spirit of black. Look, I know this is getting race specific, but would you believe it if my examples weren't explicit? So I solicit truth and hope it breaks through the mainstream perception before we all get got by the people sworn to protect us. While you're lounging on profits, economics got your morals in a predicament, constricting them while the government is telling us to be more independent and know what you own, when in reality, the corporations are in control. I'm talking Walmart, Pepsi, Nike, and Costco. Consumerism depicted by big brands hiding behind fake ads. Mom and pop shops forgot racism's alive while conservatives telling you not to support this sort of racial discourse for fear of a race war. But how can you start something that's been perpetuating by Caucasians since the first slave ships landed in Jamestown around 1619 up until right now? So what? Our president was black. Truthfully, I'm proud of the fact and everything he represents. But somewhere along the lines, the question must be addressed. What has his presidency really surmounted to? Post-racial liberalism, colorblind universalism. I mean, I wish him the best and all, but whose side were you even on? That's when it dawned on me. He's the president of the whole country, not the voice of the minority. I realize one man, no matter how big his title, just isn't reliable. That's why we must unite and fight as one in order for the people of this nation to finally overcome. Thank you.